I believe it is time to commence with the Alka 193 vlogs in Great Britain. Now, I'm not certain yet whether I'll call it the vlogs in Great Britain or the vlogs in the UK because I'm going to Wales for most of the time but day one we're staying just above London in whatever place this is called, I don't know. But it has a great hotel, that's all. that's the important part. Um, but yeah, last, and then we're going to stay in Wales and Lanrust, and then the last couple of days I'm going to Seb, aka Nerd Squared, aka SMB Gaming. Links in the description, go check out his channel. SMB Gaming is his gaming channel, and Nerd Squared, he does the vlogs and a lot of, not necessarily vlogs the way I do them, but more. He has some really interesting subjects that he talks about and that he discusses and that he does things with. It's very interesting. I really like how he does his things. So, currently day one. I guess I'll give you a run through of what we're going to do this holiday. Um, we're going to Wales and Lanrust. Day one, we're going to go to just above London, spend the night there. We're there right now. Day two, we're going to continue to Lanrust and stay there. It's currently the 10th of August, the day we're leaving. Um, we're staying um, uh, in Lanrust until the 24th. Well, my parents and my brother, anyway. I'm staying there until the 21st, because on the 21st, I'll be... Uh, my mom will bring me to um, Chester, where I'll meet up with Seb and his dad, who will then drive me the rest of the way to Derby, where they live. Um, which should be a good time. I'm really looking forward to finally meeting Seb. I've been talking with him on Skype and places, mostly Skype for years now, like two, three years, three years even, nothing more even. But yeah, it's, um, I'm really looking forward to finally meeting him and I'm staying at his place from the 21st till the 24th. Uh, so 21st will be like the afternoon, evening at his place, then 22nd, 23rd, which are uh, Thursday, Friday. And then the Saturday, the 24th, I'm, we're going to, Seb and I are going to uh, Manchester is the idea for a street pass event. Luigi themed, so I'm gonna wear my green shirt and Sub's gonna order some Luigi hats. So hopefully that's gonna work. Um, that's gonna be really good. I haven't had any Street Pass hits yet, unfortunately. Since like five, six days ago, I believe, that Nintendo Zone um, relay thing has been started. So if you go fight past a Nintendo Zone location, you can get a Street Pass hit of the person who was there before you. There's one Street, the one Nintendo Zone location in my hometown. I've been there like two times, like I was there yesterday and I was there three days ago nothing yet so it must have been the first and along the way here we stopped at um, a gas station with a Nintendo Zone location um, no street pass hit there either unfortunately not even with the people who were just walking there I was hoping someone would have 3DS on a sleep mode unfortunately not but you know I didn't really expect too much to happen I know in Landrust and the area around there's just no Nintendo Zone locations I don't expect to get any Street Pass hits there. I remember I didn't expect any to get any in uh, Germany either when I was there um, just over a year ago. But I did get one there on one of the hikes. There was a group of people there. One German kid had his 3DS with him. So that one Street Pass hit, that was awesome. Um, yeah. So while I'm in Lanrust, I don't expect to get a lot of Street Pass hits. The moment I get to Chester and meet Seb, that's going to be a lot of Street Pass hits. Obviously, all the four days that I'm at Seb's place, I'm going to Street Pass with Seb. Obviously. But what more is that there's like ten um, Nintendo Zone locations in Chester and like five or something in Derby where Seb lives or even more. And Seb has confirmed that a couple of them definitely work and he's gotten Street Pass hits from them as well. And then we're going to go into the street pass event in Manchester in some kind of plaza where there's going to be loads of people obviously with 3DSs, so that's going to be loads of street pass hits. And then there's like 10 Nintendo Zone locations on the plaza and like right around that and uh, different kinds of shops. So that's going to be street pass overload. So I'm going to finally going to be able to continue with like the puzzle pieces with street pass quests. Um, I got all four of the street pass games. I first only was thinking I'm only going to get street pass battle. But then I was like, yeah, I heard a lot of good things about the mansion, and then I thought, ah, the other, like the, the space shooter game, I thought that was fun too. I'm like, you know what, I'm going to get all of them. And I don't see myself ever playing Street Pass Garden, but I'm like, if I can get it for free, because if I'm buying the other three, might as well just get the combo pack and get Garden with it for free. 
Uh, so I have a garden. I haven't played it yet. I've played the others for a couple of times with play coins. I get my 10 play coins every day by walking or just shaking my leg or doing something to get the play coins. Um, been doing most of the things in Street Pass Battle, doing quite a bit in the mansion. Looking forward to really getting a lot of Street Pass um, hits with people so I can um, work with them, increase, like, get a lot of um, pieces for the mansion, get a big army for Street Pass Battle, get some garden stuff, I guess, people with other plans for Street Pass Garden, um, to get uh, more people for the, to, to the space levels in that uh, Street Pass space thing, whatever. I don't even know what it's called. Yeah. I'm looking forward to a lot of things. Um, yeah, I'm sitting there on the 24th in the evening. My, um, well, in the afternoon, my parents and my brother will be coming to um, Dobby as well. Not not to Seb's house, but to close to there. They'll be staying at a guest house in Dobby, uh, Green Gables. And they'll be staying there for the night, and they'd like me to actually go there in the evening as well. So after Seb and I get back from Manchester, we're probably going to have dinner with just Seb, his parents, me, and my parents, and my brother. We're going to all have dinner together somewhere in Derby, probably, or just somewhere outside of Derby, I don't know. Um, then, after that, I'm going to, well, have to say goodbye to Seb and his parents, go to... Um, well, the, go to the guest house with my parents so they can leave very early um, the following morning. Not necessarily very early, but have to leave at 7.30 at the latest if you want to have not take a really big risk with huge traffic jams. Because we had a traffic jam on the way here. We are calculating in the possibility of a traffic jam that makes it slower because our train, because we're taking the train um, from Folkestone to Calais, and that um, and that one leaves quite early, especially, uh, I keep doing that, especially considering um, the road from um, Derby to Folkestone is quite a bit more than from uh, Folkestone to what, just above London where we are now. But we arrived here at like 3 um, English time, which is 4 Dutch time, which is great. So we should be okay, just 7.30 at latest we should leave then. Should be all good. I'm gonna vlog at least once every day, and if I see something interesting, I'll do that. I will be making a lot of photos. Like I remember last year when I was in America, that was my best vacation ever. Obviously, um, I thought I'm not gonna make a lot of pictures. I'm just gonna take everything in and just remember in my mind. Um, later on, a couple of weeks after the vacation was over, I did regret not taking many pictures. I took like three, and I looked at some other pictures that other people took, but there weren't too many of mine. I was like, nah, I really regret not taking that many pictures. I'm going to take a lot of pictures. I'm not going to show them all to you. Because I'm going to put them on my, most of my pictures are going to be, go on my personal Facebook. And I'll put a couple of them on, a couple of them on my Outcorn on 3 Facebook. Some that I may find interesting. And you'll get to see those. But as I said, this is day one. We are staying here at the Holiday Inn. In... Uh, well, maybe you know the area. There's a gas station up there. There's a gas station up there. Back there. Something. Um, parking area. I don't know. Someone in England may recognize the location. If not, too bad. I'll put the town in the description as well. I can just look it up. I just don't know what this place is called. But yeah. I'll be vlogging every day, at least once, uh, possibly more if you're lucky. I'm going to be uploading these regularly, like once every two, three days I'll probably upload a new vlog. Um, as always, once I'm back, one Yu-Gi-Oh! video, Yu-Gi-Oh! related video each day, dual video, dual vlog, Yu-Gi-Oh! news, whatever. Um, but I'm also going to do these like two or th like one every two or three days, I expect. Because I do want to keep this up as well and tell you guys about my journey. I will see you guys later, possibly later today. I expect to make a new video tomorrow when we are in Wales, when we are in Lanrest. And now, I, the thing is, I almost forgot was to take my Poker Collection t-shirt because my mom packed a good amount of my t-shirts. There were two t-shirts I'm thinking, those t-shirts are special to me. The Poker Collection t-shirt and the 3000 Brigade t-shirt. I took the 3000 Brigade t-shirt from my closet and I'm like, Mom, we're taking this one because it's, it's my favorite t-shirt. I don't wear it very often. So far, I've worn it on that vacation and then to school photos. Any kind of school photo, I wore that shirt. I'm like, my school photo, the start of the school year, 
and the end end of school year, I'm like my uh, shirt is three KB th shirt is in there full view. So that's amazing. It was plan succeeded. It was amazing. Um, yeah, I have that with me. I'll probably only wear it on I'm a test place, I guess. Um, Pocket collection T-shirt. I decided not to take it with me. I didn't really feel like, uh, feel like taking it with me for some reason. But it's a short sleeve shirt and it's mostly white, so that's good in the hot sun uh, for those hot days that we might get. But then I remembered. Oh yeah. He had, um, Assad, who, poke, who is Poker Collection, has origins in Wales. He was originally from Wales, from the UK. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to take that with me, put the shirt on, and, like, take a couple of photos at different locations in Landrest and the surrounding areas in Wales. Like, to make it obvious that, I, well, to show him that I've taken the shirt to Wales, um, to make him happy, I suppose, and to have a little fun myself. So yeah, guys, I'm going to see you tomorrow probably when I'm in Landrest in Wales. See you later.